Right at a time when BYD have revealed their new suspension technology, it turns out Tesla has a patent of their own. They're working on something very, very similar. It's a real interesting competition between these two car companies. It will be for the next 10 or 20 years. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name's Sam Evans. Great to have you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Tesla's new patent is been working on an active technology for its suspension. Now, moving beyond normal height adjustable air suspension, which we'll be using in the Cybertruck, and adaptive damping, this new Tesla system incorporates actuators to directly control wheel motion as well. She sounds a lot like BYD's system. Tesla's next gen active suspension system has been revealed in this new patent, and it represents a big step forward for the company's suspension technology. CarBuzz found the details in the World Intellectual Patent Office, which shows that the new suspension will be a lot more sophisticated than the current air suspension design that Tesla uses in the Model X and the Model S. Many luxury manufacturers have since enhanced their adaptive suspension systems with active wheel position control. Rather than merely raising or lowering the suspension or changing the spring and damper rates according to preset values, these new generation active suspension systems are capable of continuously moving the wheels to their most advantageous position to best compensate for road surface irregularities. A little bit like active damping, which can see the road. So if you're going over a pothole, it makes the suspension work much better. This new Tesla patent aims to do the same by dynamically altering the suspension strut length according to current and expected road surface conditions. An actuator motor is located at the top strut mount assembly, which uses a belt drive to turn a threaded screw connected to the strut shaft. This effectively alters the strut shaft length by moving the struts upper mounting point up or down, which enables active control over the wheel's position. Such electrically actuated wheel position control systems have been talked about for decades, but their limitation has always been that they need a lot of electrical power to function. However, while Tesla's battery system has plenty of power to make such, such systems work, the electric motors that power the adjustable struts are helped along by series mounted passive springs and dampers to reduce some of the power load that's needed and frictional losses induced by such a system, making it much more efficient and therefore viable, meaning it won't use too much power. I believe this new system could actually come out when we see the new hardware for system in Tesla's newest generation of vehicles. As with all new technological advancements, the control system is a key component in this new suspension. System inputs in this case include vibration sensors, accelerometers, wheel position sensors, and pitch and roll sensors, while Tesla's clever anonymized fleet data collection system will likely also provide some information regarding road conditions. This could be game changing for Tesla. It really could. The reason being, Tesla has definitely received some criticism from some media saying their suspension is too firm. Now, it depends on the model, different opinions, different people say different things. I'm not saying it is too firm. I, mean, I personally do like firm suspension, but some people say this. This would actually be an upgrade to that area. Now, it's also likely the camera systems, of which Tesla has many, will scan the surface ahead of the road to help predict optimal wheel positions and other suspension settings as the car moves along the road. This could operate in a similar fashion to the proactive e-active body control system available in Mercedes-Benz S-Class and also Hyundai and BYD say they're going to have a similar system. Now, of course, who knows which one is going to work the best, but the system that Hyundai has will also be able to adjust the height of the car if it can drive lower, if the air suspension systems using the computer vision deem that the car can be in a lower position, they'll lower the car therefore making it more aerodynamically efficient could make a big difference to the actual range. I'm going to guess around 5%. In addition to ride height management and suspension leveling, this will allow the new suspension control system to detect potholes, ridges, and ruts in advance and retract the affected wheel into its housing in response, thus reducing the intensity of the impact between the wheel and the road irregularities. Dynamically adjustable strut shaft lengths will also enable the vehicle to counteract body roll without upsetting the spring and damper rates, 
and eliminate pitch and squat while accelerating and braking. The current Tesla Model X and the Model S both employ a fairly conventional height adjustable air suspension system with adaptive spring damper rates. It's nowhere near as advanced as this one is. This endows the two most expensive and oldest Tesla models with variable ride height and suspension stiffness and was on par with Tesla's competitors when it was introduced back in 2012 and 2015 respectively. Well, now things have changed. This is the new version. Is this just a patent? No, absolutely not. This is 100% real. Tesla have clearly spent a lot of work, a lot of time on this technology. Will it come out in all of Tesla's cars? I have no idea. It could be an option. It could be an option in Model 3s, Model Ys. I suspect it probably will be. I don't see why you would only use this technology for cars that barely sell. I mean, don't get me wrong. People here in Australia, people in South Africa, people all over the, all over the world that want the Model S and the Model X and Tesla isn't delivering it there for whatever reason. So there's clearly demand for those cars, but they just don't sell very many of them. They don't produce many. Maybe they don't make a profit from them. I'm not sure. But the point is, why would you go to all this effort to put this new technology into cars you're not you're selling so few of? That's why I think it's very, very likely we're going to see this technology in the new Model Y and the new Model 3, possibly Project Highland, possibly Project Juniper for the Model Y. I'm pretty excited. This would definitely be a big improvement for Tesla. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.